Hi guys, so I'm currently on the couch right now actually editing the video that you're watching right now and I realized very quickly that I made a major mistake and I just wanted to get on here and apologize before you watch the video. Basically, I've been sick since last Thursday and I actually had enough energy <laughs> to get through the video and I made a major mistake with the audio and you can hear the camera trying to focus the entire time that I'm filming the video. So I know there are some people that are extremely sensitive to audio that watch my videos and I just want to apologize and if it's too much for you to watch the video, too distracting, like I get it, but I was super excited about this video and it's literally Thursday at 5 p.m. There's no way I'm going to be able to refilm the video right now and <laughs> edit it in time to get it up tomorrow. So anyway, I just wanted to apologize. Please be gracious with me. I'm under the weather at the moment and doing my best. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you have not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. So for today's video, I have a very exciting haul. I picked up a bunch of really cute new pieces from Abercrombie for moving from summer into fall. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there are some major gems in here, so I cannot wait to share them with you. Before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. As always, I will definitely be sure to link all the pieces down in the description box for you. My Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark, camera details, outfit details, all that great stuff will also be linked down below. And with that, let's go ahead and get into the haul. By the way, really quickly, I've gotten a couple requests for a hair tutorial on how I've been doing my wavy hair lately. And I'm definitely planning on doing one very soon. But if you want one sooner, check me out on TikTok because I post a ton of hair content there some fashion stuff as well and beauty stuff but mainly hair related things so if you're impatient for the tutorial check me out on tiktok one other thing my voice and appearance and probably demeanor is probably a little different and that's because i'm getting over being sick so apologies if the energy levels are a little lower but we are trucking through all right where to begin let's start with some like denim because abercrombie is known for their denim these jeans oh my goodness I had to have them. These are the high rise, the 90s relaxed jean. I picked them up in a size 24, which I was worried was gonna be a little too small, but thankfully they fit absolutely perfectly. The other thing is I wanted this cream color so bad because I thought it was stunning and I've been obsessed on the hunt looking for a nice pair of cream jeans lately. And at the time that I purchased these, the regular length was out of stock. So I was like, you know what, I'll just get the long length. And if I like them enough, I'll just cut them off because they're already an unfinished hem. But these look so cute with heels that I might just leave them as is. First of all, the fit is absolutely perfect. Like I was so excited about how these fit and they are so comfortable. They're like that nice stretch denim that Abercrombie has. But Abercrombie's denim is so different because even their stretch denim still has that like very vintage worn in look to them. They almost look like they're not stretched, but still they are so comfortable. So these are the relaxed fit. So they're not quite like a wide leg, but they're not fully straight either. So they're like kind of like in between and I absolutely love how they fit. Nice and high rise. Like I mentioned, the size 24 fits me perfectly. There's no gap in the waist or anything. So 10 out of 10 recommend these. I think they're so cute and I might have to snag them in some other colors too. Another surprising little piece that I picked up is this maxi skirt. So this is a high rise maxi denim skirt and it's got that really cool asymmetric waist fits to perfection. I got a size 25, which was absolutely perfect. Oh, it's so petite. I guess I got a petite and I actually really like the length of it as well. It's got this really nice like big open slit in the middle and I love the wash too. I think the wash is absolutely perfect. Definitely has that like worn in vintage look to it and it's so comfortable on as well. I really had no idea what to expect when it came to this denim skirt. I was like mm, might love it, might hate it and it turns out I absolutely love it. Super comfortable on too and I have been loving skirts lately. I don't know what's come over me so I'm really excited about that one. All right I also picked up a couple pairs of the 90s straight jean. Okay, here's my problem with Abercrombie that I've always had. I'm never sure if I'm a curve love or a regular fit because 
In these jeans, I got the regular fit and there's zero gap in the waist. Obviously this is a size 24, but I can tell in these jeans, they fit in the butt perfectly, but the waist is not right. So I'm thinking the curve love should be the right fit for me. So with that being said, these do not fit me, but I still think they're really cute. I really like this wash here. My thing with this one is I like the cuffed hem, but I almost feel like they're a little too chunky. I'm not fully obsessed with this pair, but I do think the wash is really nice. It's a nice straight fit too. I absolutely love the fit otherwise, like the legs, the butt and everything, just the waist is not right on me. And I've been looking for a darker denim wash and I think these are so nice. I really like the wash and the fit is really cute everywhere again, except for the waist, but I still think they're really cute and they're extremely comfortable they're that same type of denim i think these are like a little less stretchy but still not like ultra rigid so they're really really comfortable to wear don't hate me this jacket is currently out of stock at least since the last time i talked and it's so good before i say anything else i will do my best to find a very similar one because it's amazing i'm not actually sure when exactly the jacket went viral but i know this winter like this 2023 winter, I was desperate to get my hands on that Zara oversized wool blazer that I swear like every cool girl had. <laughs> and when I saw that Abercrombie had one this year, immediately added it to cart. And I'm so glad I did because oh my gosh, it's so cute, really, really comfortable. And I absolutely love the fit. This is a size medium, just in case it comes back in stock, but don't worry, I'm gonna find something similar for you. I love the little snaps down the front. Love this charcoal gray color. It's so beautiful. And it's just like that perfect amount of boxiness has like a little bit of like stretch to the hem here. Pockets in the front as well. I got it in a size medium and I almost wish that I had sized up to a large, but I'm gonna keep it because again, I was trying my best to get my hands on one of these and I finally did. So it's gotta stay with me. Let's move on to some dresses. This dress, I'm obsessed. And I don't actually know why, because I'm not normally a navy person. It is a beautiful maxi dress. It's kind of like that in-between midi and maxi, but I actually really like the length that it is on me. I like the plunging V in the front. The straps kind of crisscross in the back and then tie here. You'll see it better when I'm wearing it. <laughs> it's kind of hard to show you, but it's really nice because the straps are adjustable. The bodice here is nice and stretchy as well. So it's so comfortable on and oh my gosh, this skirt just has so much fabric like do you see and it has pockets which is so nice the material is also ridiculously comfortable i just think this dress is going to be so cute for the end of summer and moving into fall it will look really cute with like a little chunky cardigan over it as well so had to pick this up and i absolutely love it next up is a dress that i believe this style has been around abercrombie for a very very long time and i'm Trust me, I understand why. Especially when I tried it on, I was like, you're kidding, this is so cute. This yellow dress is just the epitome of like moving into fall. This mustard yellow, first of all, is just to die for. And it's got the cutest like navy black and little cream flowers throughout it. It's so precious. It is a baby doll dress and it's got like this nice tighter bodice here. And it's got this like nice ruffling to it. The sleeves are nice and poofy, which I love. You can also wear them off the shoulders, which is very cute. And the skirt is just massive once again. It's just like the absolute perfect dainty type of shape. Also has pockets. Like I am so glad every company is like, yeah, we heard you. All these girls that have just been begging for dresses with pockets for the longest time. They're finally listening to us. It does have elastic in the back too, which makes it nice and stretchy and easy to wear. But yeah, I think this dress is so cute and it comes in like 95 different colorways. <laughs> I swear, it's so nice. So if you love that dress, but you're not necessarily obsessed with the print, they definitely have solid colors as well. And I believe a couple other prints. So check out that dress. When I pulled this dress out of the packaging, I was really unsure. It looked kind of weird. And I was not obsessed to begin with, but I tried it on after steaming it and I have to say I'm in love. It is this beautiful midi dress and it's got this kind of like nightgown kind of vibe to it. And I think it is just so sexy, but I think it's the perfect amount of sexy and like 
also just like looks chic. It's not too over the top. I think part of it is because the straps are nice and wide. It's not like too revealing. It does have a bungee V, but again, it's not like too over the top for me. There is a tie here in the front with a little bow, which is so precious. I love the cream lace with the black kind of silky fabric, and it has the most amazing slit in the side. It is massive. But again, it's not like too revealing. So I really like that aspect. This silky fabric is just so comfortable on. I think this dress is so beautiful. 10 out of 10, I think it's gorgeous. Last up for dresses is a dress that, I don't know, maybe if I had gotten the right size, I would have liked it, but it's definitely going back for me. It is this kind of in-between midi and maxi dress. It's got this really cute slit in the front and this nice like little ruffle kind of hem, which is so cute. I really like the bodice as well. I picked it up in an extra small and it is just way too snug on me. Like I could tell immediately when I pulled it out, like that's not gonna fit me. I squeezed into it anyways. And yeah, I'm just not a fan of this one. It does have adjustable straps, which is really nice. And I like the little gathered bust as well. It does have elastic in the back here, but not enough for me. Definitely not well endowed by any means, but this is just way too tight on the bust area. And truthfully, I wish it had a little bit more fabric like that navy blue dress. I just feel like I would like the silhouette a little bit more that way, but it's still a really cute dress. And I believe this one came in some different colorways as well. So I don't know, maybe it's the print that's messing me up even though I think the print's really pretty. Let's move on to some cozies because I swear nobody does cozies better than Abercrombie. Their fabrics are to die for. They are so freaking comfortable. So let's start out with this little sweatshirt here. Not really little, it's actually rather large, but that's the way that I like them. It is so cute. It says France, Saint Tropez, Club. What does that say? Nautique. It is in this beautiful pink embroidery. And like I said, just the absolute softest material on the inside. I swear your sweats are just superior to everything else. I love the boxy fit as well. It's actually a really good length too. Perfect for wearing with jeans or shorts, obviously with sweats as well. I absolutely love the shape of this one too. I'm really glad I picked it up in a large because in my opinion, I think Abercrombie's sweatshirts, at least in the women's, run a little bit more true to size. So I always like to size up a little bit in their sweats. And I really like the way this one fits. One other little sweatshirt that I bought is this quarter zip, but it's actually that same exact fabric. So ridiculously soft on the inside. And I love the little quarter zip detail. It also has this really cute front pocket here. This one I picked up in a large as well. And again, I love the fit. And I bought matching sweatpants, which I'm not upset that these two sweatshirts are the exact same material because they both match the sweatpants. And these sweatpants are oh, cute guys. I wish I was wearing these right now. These are the coolest sweatpants I've ever seen in my life. I am obsessed. They are a cargo wide leg sweatpants, which is just the dream for me. Ridiculously comfortable. I feel like these are even like more fleecy on the inside than the sweatshirts. They are so freaking comfortable. I wish I had these in multiple colors. I'm definitely gonna have to go back for more. They do have a drawstring waist. It is like on the inside of the pants though. Pockets in the front here up at the waist. And then you also, oh my gosh, the fabric on the inside of the pockets is so comfortable too. Nice big cargo pockets on each side of the legs. And like I mentioned, they are more of like a wide leg fit. They fit so perfectly. And I think these are the perfect sweatpants because they're a little bit more put together than your just average pair of sweatpants. I don't know, they just like look a little bit more like a tribe. Does that make sense? But anyway, I really like these a lot and I'm so excited to wear them literally every day in the fall and winter. All right, so I picked up two tops that weirdly are kind of the same thing. So this first one, I actually need to look at what this fabric is. Okay, so it's a polyester elastane like blend of fabrics and it's this really cool kind of mock neck. I don't know if you guys remember, two H&M hauls ago, I picked out this really cute like little black dress that I thought was adorable. It had this really 
interesting kind of asymmetric neckline. And this reminds me so much of this dress, except it's a top. The lining in it is so comfortable, but the outside looks really, really dressy and put together. I think that's what really drew me to this top because first of all, I have a lot of crop tops. I talk about this all the time, but I don't have many like nicer tops, especially that are this length. So this is like a full length top and it's got this gorgeous ruching on the sides, just like sucks you in like perfectly. It looks so nice on, gives you the absolute best shape. And I just love the kind of pleating on this shoulder. And then this shoulder is like slightly smaller. It looks very dainty and feminine, but also really chic and modern at the same time. Love that it's black, obviously. And it does have a zipper inside, which is really nice because it would be really hard to get on without it. But I love this top. I think it's gonna be perfect for more like put together outfits that I need. But I also picked it up in more of like a mock neck. I believe this is like a jersey or something. It says ANF Modal Blend Collection. Didn't go to fashion school, can you tell? But this fabric is so soft and comfortable. The top is extremely similar to that other one, but it is more of like a casual look. It's got a mock neck instead of that like asymmetric kind of looking neck. What am I saying? This one also has a ruching in the side. It's not as dramatic. This one's also a tiny bit more cropped. Of the two, I'm probably gonna hang on to this one that feels a little bit nicer. And like I said, it's a little bit longer in length, but I really do like this one as well. If you're just like wanting something ultra comfortable, but looks put together, I'd say I go for this one. The last clothing piece that I picked up is this pair of linen shorts and they've got the cutest pleating in the front. I love the little belt loops as well. They look really cute on. I will say I did size down to a 24 and I think I need a 25 in these. I just wish there was a little bit more fabric in the sides. I'm just weird about the way that I like shorts to fit. So I'm not obsessed, but I still think they're really, really cute and I like the length a lot. The last thing I got is actually this belt here. I've been looking for another black belt that is more of like a skinny type of belt. Very, very chic looking. I love the metal here, it's kind of like in between a gold and a silver. And I like that because I feel like I can wear it with both like gold and silver jewelry. Picked it up in a size extra, extra small slash extra small and it fits absolutely perfectly. Is this real leather? Yes, it is real leather. And you can tell it's like very, very high quality. But anyway, I believe this one came in brown too. Might have to snag that one because I really do like this ball. All right, you guys, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Abercrombie haul. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. And leave a comment down below letting you know what your favorite piece from this haul was. As always, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.